money yes, and yes. it shakes. Hello and welcome to Union Street Lanes here in Holbrook, Massachusetts. I'm Bob Lee and we're going to bring an ACST week three matchup. This is the first ever journey to Union Street Lanes for Dave Peterson, mainstay of the Tuesday Night Bowlers out of Norwood. Uh, remember, this is a new C division. Dave's going to be bowling first on lane 14, and uh, we'll fill you in more. He's up against George Sambulas. Sambanas. And Peterson's in on the right side. Grabs four out of the three hole. Left there, third ball still facing four. Dave has been the perennial uh, leader of the Tuesday Night Bowlers Club. Good nine in box one. That's where I bowled actually before uh, moving west to Millis and east to Union Street Lanes here on Tuesday nights. Format for tonight's match, right in the pocket. Six and nine remain, nice wood between the six and the nine, and Dave's going to think about it. He's just going to play it for a one-pinner. And that'll be it. Spare in the second, 19. So the format is each bowler, uh, the visiting, starting with the visiting bowler, will bowl five boxes in a five... Um, way ACST scoring works. There's two points for each game in the fill. That's a four, so 23 through two complete. Let's see Craig Gold Holbrook, John Zappi, Danny Harris, Bob Whitcomb right here. Get ready. Second ball in the third. They're going to be pulling, pulling the Pro Series tonight. I'm going to go over and join them, cover the last of that match, but uh, after this ACST match. Peterson's third ball here in the third. Nine, that's 32 through three. It's like I was saying, Peterson uh, playing in the uh, playing in the Norwood conditions, hard, hardwood, slow, maybe a slow track, especially especially downstairs. Oh, what a ball. He's maintained an average right around uh, 100 for the last five years that I've known him. High average has been 104. Bowling for 20 years. Rent, rent them resident. Open in the fourth. Had that difficult five and ten split. And a beautiful ten out of that. Three objects. 42 through four. The head pin again. I think that was one out of five head pins there for Peterson. Is a high single of 146, a high triple of 374 that I witnessed. Oh, oh right on the money, yes, and yes. it shakes. It moved about a quarter inch, but the nine pin stands. So one spare for the four fill. Good pinning for Peterson. Ah. Nine for a 51 half. And we're going to see George Sambanas. This is George's first season in the ACST. Uh, in the inaugural C season. He's carrying a 106 average right now, which is very high for the Cs. Um, I see him on Tuesday nights in the semi pro league here. Bonus. Working from the right side comes in on the three pin. 
Left of the one, two, and nine. Sets up about 12 feet back of the line. Three-step approach right on the money, and the C's parted around the nine pin. Will be open in the first. Chasing a first half score of 51. If I ever get through explaining the rules, <laughs> we will bowl, we'll bowl five games. Each game is worth two, pin, two points, plus the total for the, the day is going to be worth four. Hey, Justin Scally oh, from yeah. uh, oh, Camp yeah. Bowling Network joins us. You're bowling tonight, I assume. Yep, we are bowling over there. Uh, I'll be coming over later. We're, we're going to give you some C action in first, though. Some, oh, nice. some bonus. A light hit on the left side, crossed over. He's got the triangle with a sleeper on the right, two pieces of wood out front, and the seven pin oh, getting, on the left. Just getting started. Double wood though, yeah, just just underway. I'll probably be joining in the third third box. It's recordings here, you know. There's no oh, okay, yep, yep. online, right? I figured you'd be up. I figured you'd be up with Paul tonight. It's the CPL. It's my, my South Shore thing. Yep. There you go. So George busts up the four and. Uh, Perfect 20 after two on a pair of tens. Probably a good night to not have to deal with 93 traffic anyway. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's at CPL tonight. Yep. He's li he'll be live in moments, I imagine. Yeah, about 20 minutes. So here's George Zimbanis. Two, three steps, two short steps and a nice launch. Again in on the uh, three pin. This one's the Lambda, the side saddle triangle with the head pin out front. Sleeper pin in the back is eight. You might not be able to see on your camera. And off on the two that time. One remains. Sometimes you're gonna try to stay perfect here. And he'll take a nine, 29. After three. Dave Peterson had one spare in his first half, his inaugural first half here at Union Street Plains. George crosses again. This time he leaves the four horsemen. A piece of wood probably out of play behind it. These are falling about 36% of the time for Pro Bowlers. We're in the semi-pro division here, so knock a few off that. My rule of thumb for thinking about uh, what my, my, the statistics I use is that are based on Pro Bowlers off Channel 5. Oh, beauty there. That was a 10. So 39 through 4. I say my rule of thumb is that... Uh, Pro Bowlers average around 70% on their objects. So if you see a spare like that, that's a 36%, that means half the time you hit your object, you're likely to make it. Half the time you won't. So you look at a uh, triangle, it's a 45%, that, that one a little more than half. And, uh, I think that would be some honest, it'll be open. Great pinning, but uh, if he can make one here, he'll get a 48. Make it 47. So an open, open half for George. Has a high single of 185. This minus. And high three at 395. Now moving on to lane 13. Dave Peterson open in the fifth. Grabs four. Off the six pin. Back in the pocket, a little thin. Still got four. That's uh Two, four, five on the left, and the 10 in the corner. Play the left side of that wood, shove it across for 960. 
in the sixth. Peterson from Rentham wearing the dark blue. Carrying a four pin lead after the first half. Crossed, crossed himself that time. Thin strike on the 2 4 pocket. Right on the only there, though, and it drives through. He had, to, he had to get that one to hit the triangle behind the 1 3. So he had to clear the 1 3, get the ball to go through, and make the, the 5, 8, and 9 in the back. And he did 70 in a ball in the seventh. That was Peterson's second spare. And this time he's in the pocket. A nice eight fill, 78 through seven. And see if he can hit the candy bar. He does, and two in a row, 88. Through eight. Peter's tie signal is 146. And that looks like three out of the corner. 91. That's a eight, four, and three on his three spares in this game. Been in the ninth. We got the five pin back behind the camera. All right, you got two of them there, so that's a seven, ninety eight through nine. If you can put up a ten, he'll force. George to throw a 61. Of course, with a mark, you can make him maybe go up to three marks. Oh, nice. Nothing wrong with that one in the one three pocket, but uh, leaves the end. The parallel pins in the back. Four, seven, five, eight. Wood on the side that's perpendicular. Plays it in the corner. Just trying to hit that uh, four and see if you could skid the, skid the four across. Bounce it off the eight into the five, maybe. And he'll be open and take eight. So it's a 106. Very, very respectable C score. This is the first year of C bowlers. C, C bowlers uh, start the year with an average under 100. A lot of them uh, bowling for the first time competitively in the Atlantic Cattlemen Singles Tour. We have an 18-week season, 16 teams in a conference, uh, four divisions within the conference. Each bowler bowls their division opponents to start the season, and they go all around the league, bowl everybody else once, and then they come back and finish against their division as some bonus is left on the seven pin to start things off here in the six. He, he's gonna need a 59 to tie day of 60 to win. Open in the sixth. Nice ball. 31 miles an hour on that release. For a nine, he's at 56. In the sixth. Needs 50 in the next four boxes. Oh, good action. Missed the head pin, but gets everything. Oh, what the head pin was the last to fall. Beautiful. I guess that's a Julien strike, they're saying. That's the Canadian term for it. Whatever it is, it's a strike and some bonus. 
is at 66 in a ball. First mark of the game. He's been hitting very well. Up against three spares from uh, Peterson. And he gets a little uh, reset. Uh, it's two pin fault. So Sabanis. Off the head pin again, takes five. That's the Kaliri lead. Four horsemen. And the eight pin in the back. Wood. A good five or six inches away. Let's see. He plays it and it doesn't. He, he had to hit the tip of that to get a rebound if it was going to do something. Third ball. So that's five in the bonus, though. And a six. Tough. Tough one. So 71 through seven. And the six puts it at 77 through eight, and now he's gonna need to make a couple marks. For all tens and a spare with a 10 fill would work for him. Second ball, eagle wing right. Off on the three pin. Now you need to fight for these pins. Like that. Beautiful 10 there. 87. Keeps it, keeps it in one. We're in the ninth. We're, we're now in the 10th. That's two, so 87 through nine. He needs a spare strike or a strike with nine to tie. And like, how that? How about that? 97 and of all. The second strike. And George needs a nine fill to tie. Ten to win. Right? Nine to tie, ten to win. Yeah, we are confirmed with the official score. 97 and two balls. Some, some bonuses. Wait, I noticed he uses four balls. He has uh, four balls, is one that's yellow, and he likes to throw that one in the big, uh, the big moments. This is the strike ball. It's also the one he waited for for the first throw. Here's George. A little bit right, not a bad leave though. All right, so he can, he needs to get three of those. There's a, there is a sleeper in the back. There's the eight and the nine in the back row. The one and the three. For the tie, he got the tie. How is that? A strike nine, two strikes from Sumbanis, and our bowlers share, split the points in game one. Welcome, you just joined us. <laughs> so start things off in the second. Dave Peterson back on lane 14, reaches out, touches the head pin, doesn't knock it down. And he's left the one three one three ten. Bowler's tied, 106 to 106. And George Sampanis is dramatic, strike nine. <laughs> what am I, uh, when I leave the head pin standing like that, I think, I imagine, imagine doing that 10 times, having an imperfect game, nine, where you never hit the head pin. <laughs> That's, a lot of your pins can come from that, especially when you're uh, a 190 bowler like <laughs> <laughs> We've been here. Dave Peterson through the right side. Takes aim at the four and two. Got it. Rolling. 
in the pocket, but uh, seven, eight, and ten remain in the back, and he'll be open in the second. Nice pick up there. That was clever. Eighteen. So I'm play the tip of that, the wood across the eight pin. Wood flipped around as the ball came through and took out the seven. Just off the head pin again. Four horsemen now. Piece of wood in the back. Good chance if he can hit that head pin. Like that, two full on the head pin. Twice, Peterson's hit the head pin with his second shot. First three boxes. No marks on this side though. And he'll take eight, 26 through three. First ball in the fourth. Oh, right down the middle. Gibson threw that one 30 miles an hour on the Bushnell radar gun. He's got the, uh, he's got a clipped wheel with an eagle with a talon. You see the eight pins back there. You, you may be able to see that on the camera. So there's four pins on the left, the one, the, the two, the three pin now remains on the right. Big out here. Good job. Went for the four, got him. Almost picked up the 10, but. 35 through four. 34? 34. 34. Thank you. 99. Okay. Peterson let that one fly. It's all 42 inches the lane. Get that pin. And right back on the head pin. And that leaves the king pin standing the five. And he'll be open on the first side here, the second string. Good 10. 44 half. George Simbanas came raging back. He was open in the front with a 47. Good, good pinning. Um, got a backdoor strike. Get things moving in the seventh. Had a tough fill and, a, and, and followed it up with just a six, I believe, but uh, made up for it in the tenth. Here he's back in the head pin. No reward there. I think that's the four six. Probably even harder than the 710. He's got it. He sends it. It touches. Oh, the six shook. He almost made it. There's a damaged pin on the, uh, the lane there. George will take a 10. Nice job. Nice bowl in there. Buried the pocket. Almost converted the 4 6 and then took the single for a 10. George begins all the way over on the right-hand side and drops a lemon drop. And I, we will be collecting one dollar for each lemon drop for candle pins for cancer. So it stays right. He's taking the six and the three now. Still has five standing. Make it 
three, that's a seven. 17 through two. First ball in the third. There's one. Oh, pretty ball, not much reward. I was hoping that wood would stay put or roll over toward the five. Now he's got a chance. This is the uh, five and the eight, and the wood behind it might go if he can connect. He does! Off the five, the ball continued through, took the tail of that piece of wood in front of the seven, and he's at 27, and a ball through three. Simbonis' is third mark in the game. In the match, I should say. And a beautiful crossover to Brooklyn. Nine in that fill, 36. Through three complete. Got wood rolling about 25 30 feet past uh, it's balancing but it's not falling i think i'm gonna go get it <laughs> Some bonus with the spare. Apologize for leaving my post there. He's at 46. Takes a journey down Route 39. Two on the fill. Turns around, goes back the same way. Now he's facing eight with his third ball. This is a big one. Great ball, great. I mean, he'll, he'll take the six. <laughs> Look at it, <laughs> he pins like that. 54 through five. So St. Benis with uh, two spares after his two strike 106. Peterson, who tied him with 106 in the first, is open in the first side. His first ball in the sixth box coming up on lane 13. Three pins, the two, five, and nine fell. That's where he wanted it. Oh, about that. That was a strike ball. But it's good for the spare here. 54 in the sixth. Peterson in the fill. A little bit full, but he grabs seven. Sixty-one. Hey, Maddie Nichols. Tell us about Union Lanes. Um, it's uh, a work in progress, and I don't know if it ever will be, but it's interesting. Every uh, pair is unique, that's for sure. Peterson's <laughs> left on the spare bit. Some work better than others too. 
It's all right. You're looking at the newest employee at Webster Timberlands. Oh, you're, you're working at Webster Timber. Oh, yeah. with your father, yeah. Rick Nichols. Very nice. Nice job on the nine there for Peterson. He's got 70, 70 through seven. He's caught up with his box. George Simbanis with a 54 through five. Has a four pin lead. First ball in the eighth now. Rentham. Bowler Peterson loses the wood, but has a two pinner. Good to see him back on the head pin like that. Misses left open in the eighth. There it was. Oh, nope. 78. Bowler's down in the 100 range. Average around 50% on their objects. Get, if you can get it up to 60%, you're going to see, just as a rough estimate, you're going to get your average up to 110. There's another one on the head pin. Now he's got a beautiful looking candy bar. The wood line in front of the five and nine. It's a 15 inch target. Turn it a 45 degree angle. And there it goes. There in the ninth, 88. And a ball for Peterson, for Dave. They'll need a reset. So here's where it is. Symbias is four over after five. Peterson is two under, two under his box. But with a with a bonus ball in his hand. If he makes seven, he forces Symbias to mark. How about that? How about eight? 96. Through nine complete. And a pretty looking setup for a spare here. Double wood, however. You never know. Nope. That one was off in the channel. So that'll be an eight in the tenth box. 104. So, Simbanis, well, you probably need to mark, but five, five tens would tie the match. Never seen a match go with more than one tie before. Your first time for everything. I've covered, covered a, probably a couple hundred of these things now, <laughs> at least, uh, or at least as a uh, director or producer. Here's George back in the head pin and nine fall. <clears throat> and the wood is lying junkyard around the eight pin. Great opportunity. How about that? Spare in the sixth. Simbanis, who had two spares in the front half. Added a third in the sixth box. On the bonus, two full and clips, clips a eagle with a talon. The talon is the eight pin, so it's got the wing on the left and the talon at the eight pin, four, four of them total over there, and two on the left. Doing the right. 
There's a four fill. That means he needs 22 pins in his last three. Sorry, 26 pins in his last three. There go six of them. Four horsemen right. No wood. How about that one? <laughs> nope. Ten pin won't cooperate. That'll be nine. Eighty-seven through eight. Eighty-seven through eight. Yeah. So uh, 17 in the next two will tie. Really? Sets up the far right again. Crosses over. Nice job. Oh, that's a pretty looking leave. Six, nine. The wood is not covering on the nine pin. And he tried to hit high up on that wood and clipped it a little bit too high. That nine, that's a big pin. So 96 through nine, eight to tie, nine to win. Simbanus. Comes in, crosses over into the 2-4 pocket, and there's seven of them. Good result from that one. The left side of the 2-pin. Right to left ball. Oh, okay. So, it's all down to the last ball again. Symphonis. <laughs> Needs one to tie, two to win. Three to go up in the total. And there it is. Two to win. A 105, 104. Great job. Clutch bullet for the home bowler, you know. That's why the home bowler likes to go last. For most men. So, sometimes you'll see Justin Waters, maybe uh, Danny Finn a little bit in the, fi in the finals. Scores there a 211, 210, one pin lead in the total. And a three to one lead in points. Okay, goes for you. Dave Peterson now starting things off again. We're in the third string. Thin blow. Takes four. Wood snuggled in nicely. Right there. Oh, that was the ball. Five and seven didn't cooperate. Peterson throwing 29 miles an hour on that one. Open in the first. Good nine. All three objects for a nine. <clears throat> There's a stray piece of wood. Sets up for his first ball. In the second. Came out a little, a little early. One seven eight nine. Aiming at the wood. Takes out the back with that. Huh? Not a bad deal with that.
third ball in the second now. 4 9. Peterson, who's a bank mortgage officer, was telling me he used to work at 60 State Street out near uh, the old state house. Crosses over. That was pretty. Everything falls but the five pin. This for the spare in the third. Three step approach, crosses over, no doubt about it. 28, Peterson. Fell by one pin in game two. Tied game one. First ball in the fourth now in the bonus. Nice mix six. One, two, seven, eight, and back. He got. He's got them all but the eight. Fine effort there. Forty three through four. Box. Peter will be at the midway point. <laughs> Crosses. That's nice. He, threw, he put some right to left spin on the wall, not on every shot. Just deal with wood in the corner. And he hits it. He'll sit down. With the mark, 53. You can never be sure when there's wood in the corner whether it's gonna play like you expect. But Peterson exhales in relief. Always good to get a mark in each half. Some, some bonus. Leaves the high-low jack with pretty good wood on the left. Let's see, one seven ten, two pieces. The jackpot shot, no. Still figures to use that right-to-left ball on the head pin. Casey misses it. Look at that. Got the bounce. The ball took out the seven after missing the head pin. Nine in the first. Sivanis, the mechanic, crosses over. Gets a Block in the back on the six pin and it shoved the pin sideways and over a quarter inch, but it didn't fall. It's a little bit closer to the five than usual. It's the four, this is, this is the uh, five, six. And he got it. He tripped it from behind. The, the, the wood was live, it was touching. And that is a pretty spare for Simbanis, 19. Or two. I should probably use the Ethernet. I'm, you had 53, right, Dave? You had two two marks on 53? That's right. Seven on the first fill for Symbonis.
No love on that spare. Good 10, 36 through three. I've watched a match this close. <laughs> Neither bowler has gotten away by more than a few pins at any point in this game. George buries the one three pocket, leaves check mark. These runs are at about 36, 38 percent. Gotta hit that. Gotta hit the other. Working on a wing. There it is. Oh, chopped it. 44. Now he has to try to keep up with uh, Peterson's two spare. 53 plus, plus one ball. Two on the right. And two on the left. Big out coming. Four pins parallel to each other on the right. And two in the corner. Oh, nice job. Nice job. He's going to get... Well... Eight out of that anyway. That could very easily have turned into a five or a six. But he gets eight and a 52. Dave Peterson will move over to lane 13. And he's got a, he's got a spare. He, he picked up the corner, the uh, 610 on his last ball. Simbanis has managed to tie game one with a beautiful strike, nine fill, and then uh, pulled off on nine when he needed eight to tie in the second, so he has a three to one lead here. Peterson now gets himself out to his first lead, eight, 61 half. So at the half, Through completed boxes, it is 271. Oh, as Peterson played with some wood on the left side, got, got it to move about halfway across, not all the way. So as I was saying, it was 271, 263, an eight pin match lead at the half. Nine in the sixth there. He's at 70. Dave Peterson, only in his first ever appearance, Union Street Lanes, Rentham resident, big seven on his first ball. He's been in the pocket, on the pocket, since starting a little bit slowly in the first game. So it's got a chance. Nope. Needed that wood to guide guide him down, but the three pin and the ten still stand. Nice ball. Nice ten there. Eighty through seven. Ten over for Peterson. Some Savannah's two over through his half. Three boxes to play here in the third string of five. And the Candlepin singles to Class C action. Peterson. It's a seven drop out of that about. About 18% of the time, when you miss the head pin, you're, you're left with a nice spare leave like this, not counting wood. 
two pinners, one pinners, three pinners like this. Peterson looked like he was taking advantage. Strangely, only 51% of those will go, which means about a third of the time, even when pros hit the hit the object they're aiming for, they they get they don't make the spare. Disturb the wood, shakes it back, and there's your there's your ten. A little bit of karma justice, karmic justice for Peterson. He's at ninety, and those pins are critical. He's already if you can. If you can get in a couple more tens, I'll put George in a position where he needs a he needs two marks. To keep up. Or perfect bowling. One of two. Another head pin. This time the diamond on the right. He's playing it playing it fine. He's uh Hitting object after object here. A steady ball. Look at that. How about that? A 10. Hits the head pin. One more or one more? Took the three pin, then finished with the five pin for a 10. Nine, he's at 100 through nine. Visiting bowler finishes first. George Simba is in the house where he is also a lane mechanic. Okay, the arm got out in front. Peterson has five. It's the four horsemen plus the five remaining. Still three up there. And that'll be a seven, so a 107. How about that? Scores of 106, 104, and 107 for Peterson. Sumbana has had one mark and a 52. He's probably going to need. He'll need really good pinning and one mark to keep pace. Sabonis <laughs> won the first with two strikes. This time, takes the half Worcester. Yeah, he's back through that hole again. This, this is one like George saw last game, or was it earlier this game? And he, oh, that's the toughest one. That will be a four. It's a common bad luck shot, but uh, he's at 56 now. He needs a couple marks. Has four room to do it though. Four boxes ahead of him. A little right. That, that third ball, George hit his uh, hit the head pin. At a nice uh, nice angle, but uh, it flipped right past the five into the eight pin. It's like a, it's like hitting a one a one eight. Off your first ball, one nine. Third ball, beautiful ten there. Back, back pinning again. Sixty six now through seven. He's four under and needs to get to seven over. So eleven bonus pins in the next three boxes. That one came out a little different, a little right on that one.
Not a bad leave though. One, two, four. Wood in the back might help. Hold that one just overcooked. Two tens in a row after the tough four. 76. Through eight. How about two spares? To catch Peterson. There's one right through. Well, COVID test up the nose. And he finds it again. <laughs> All right, now he's got to, he, he needs these pins. He needs these pins. He's not out of it yet. He's going to need a double strike in the 10, but he needs pins. That was a good 3 6. 82. Two tough boxes here on the backside. So, Bonus began the third string with a one pin lead. Looking for a drink. Okay, that'll that'll give the string to Peterson. And some bonds will be open. Nice uh, nice gainer there for, for the Norwood veteran. 91, right, Dave? Ninety one. It's confirmed a one oh seven to ninety one. And the match is tied up at three three points apiece. Both bowlers have won a string and they tied in the first. Fourth string coming up next. Peterson on lane fourteen. Union Street Pro League Pro Series has begun on our left. We'll be joining them a little later on for the recording. Peterson. Boy, I like the way his ball is moving right now. So George saw so George pick up a little speed. To 32 last time. Let's take the gun out and see if Peterson's still around 29 or 30. 28 on that one. And an eight to start. Tough eight. After that beautiful break. Notice that the uh, Justin Pops White, the uh, inventor of candlepin bowling, was a pool shark. He was a, a pool, renowned pool player. You sort of see it in the game. And the idea of instead of uh, cueing the ball, you throw the ball, try to break them up, and they're set up like like they are in uh, in eight ball. Leary now for Peterson's second. He's still got the one, eight, and ten. Of course, the idea of setting the pins apart 12 inches from one another, that was the standardization that White brought to the game. Rules for candle pin. Duck pin and what later became known as 10 pin were all founded at the same time as I understand it. Seven in the second, 15 through two for Peterson. Another, this one's shaken eight. Beautiful nine drop. Good opportunity for Peterson. Two of his first three head pins. Let's see if he can capitalize. Oh, a little too much on that. Crossed over. 
Here's going to use a three step approach. There it was. Takes the ball back right around to his waist. Very controlled ball. Imparts a little bit of right to left action on it. As he releases. First ball in the fourth now coming up. For Rentham Steve Peterson. Back on the head pin. Three out of four. This one's thin and leaves the bundle of five. The one I heard called the hay bale at one time. I heard it called that and I've used it ever since. Peterson open in the fourth, open so far in the fourth string as well as through four boxes. 34. Peterson grabbed a 15. Six, he won the third string by 16 pins. There's a 15 pin overall lead in the match to start this fourth string. As he misses left, four horsemen, and the five again. No luck there. Now stands at four and one with three pins still standing. It is last ball in the fifth. Yeah, it'll be 41. Yeah, I'm jumping the champ, out of the channel. Come on, come on. Yeah. Come on, that wasn't very good. First time he's been open through five. <clears throat> and Sumbas, who dropped 15, 16 pins in the in the third, looks to get him back here. Didn't cross over that time. That was in the one three pocket and a nine drop. A little bit of wood behind. May not may not be in play. Nope, nope. That was in the channel. That's a tough. That's a tough one. Nine through one. Both bowlers had nine drops in there for in the fourth to start things off. Both missed. This time some bonus hits. Right on the three pin. I'll try to send the one. Chance there. At the one, two, four. And he'll take nine, 18 through two. Fourth string of a five string match. Dave Peterson held on to a 15-pin lead, but uh, struggled in the first half here. The 41. Sabanis gets a good luck out of that. Get the <laughs> get a thin one on the four-pin and grab seven. Now he's got the one, the two, a lumber yard, and the, looks like the six. Needs the one. There it is. It was all connected. 28. In the third. Looks 
So Matt is in the bonus now. Still, look at that, another seven. Off the head, pin. that one was on the uh, on the two pin. This beautiful fill of 35. Line drive in the scorebook. One, three, ten, and that might go, it might go. He grazed it, but did not take the seven, I said the ten. And that one came out of the channel, so a nine. 44, 34. Sambanis has taken take the lead in the fourth string. Still trails by 12 overall, and we'll have a good look at it now. That two overlapping pieces, just barely overlapping. And that should be a side saddle triangle back there. Gets it, the wood connected. Two spares for Sumanis. He's at 54 in ball. He'll sit down with that. He knows he got a. Says he got a little bit lucky on one of those. Maybe maybe both of them. Good good leaves. Still had to hit him. <laughs> you gotta hit the head pin. You hit the, the head, head pin, pin at least. Yep. <laughs> now Peterson. whose 15 pin lead is now down to two. And we'll, we should see a uh, lead change in the match when George gets things going again. But meanwhile, Peterson gets to finish the fourth string. How about that? How about that? A pretty looking ball in the one three pocket and he gets himself a split. So it's close. Wood is out there, teasing him. If he caps that wood, or no, no, no. Had to hit it somehow. Open in the sixth now. Good 10, but 51 now, through six. Peterson back for another three and one split after another slightly full head pitch. I don't really want to argue with that though. Here. How about that? How about that? He hit. He hit the three pin thin like he had to. Sent the three pin and the wood across and no avail. This now for his second ten in a row. That one's good. Sixty one. Room for three now. Peterson slipped just a tad on that delivery, but not not bad. How about that though? Three three head pins, three splits. He's got double wood on the left. Another piece lying out in front of the ten pin on the right. Got a See how he plays it. He's going for the double. He shook it. Got a helicopter to fly out in front, and it's probably out of play. George Simbanos will check it. Got about uh, 24 inches in front of the head pin. There is a line. Is the Deadwood line. 
So Peterson taking aim at a 10. Three in a row for 10s. 71. It's good. good bullet at this level. Last C match. Peterson <clears throat> struggled in the first half, though. It hasn't hasn't marked yet. Despite hitting the head pin at least six times out of eight. Time he misses the head pin. And he's got another tough one. Gonna have to wait for that wood to settle. It makes a pretty big difference if it stands in front of the eight pin. Okay. Here's, here's a chance. You can deflect, deflect the ball off that one. Nope. I think he was taking aim at the head pin on that one. I don't think he was playing for the wood. Open in the ninth. <laughs> a real tough eight. 79. We'll need a mark for 90. We'd love to get up into the 90. So Sabanis put up a 91 himself. Expect one. He's going to be up in the mid 100s again. How about that? How about that? Another? I'm afraid not. That was. Four out of five head pins on the back and four splits. And missing the head pin was no no bargain either. Three pieces of wood on the left though. It's not not impossible. How about that? He capped one of them and got the pin to fly out to the right side behind the ten pin. <laughs> He'll take that. A real tough 88. Boy, boy, you don't hit the head pin that often at this level without, without getting at least a chance at a spare. Even on, on one of his three and ones, he, uh, he made the cut shot, but uh, the messenger never made its way over. That was brutal. Sambonis, though, needs to take advantage. He, he had, had his own struggles in the third. He had a good front half here. Two spares, 54 in a ball, and he's in the bonus now. George. Oh, boy. He has picked up a couple miles an hour. He has a 32-mile-an-hour crossover out of the one-two pocket. And he's left with the Woolworth. Five and dime. Three pieces of wood, two of which might come into play. Let's see. How about that? He, I, he touched it and it fell forward. The wood just rubbed against the kingpin on its way past. Anyway, eight. Critically, that was an eight fill and a spare for 72 through six. Zimbanis. Has closed the gap in the total. Tough fill there, 64. So four marks here in the fourth straight. Oh, my goodness gracious. He's, oh, he's <laughs> No. <laughs> Everything but the eight. Get that rhythm going, they start falling. It's a little bit like a domino effect. It's a more elaborate. That was nine in the seventh. 73. Look at this. Everything's falling but the head pin on that. Crossover into the two. Yeah. George 
been a little bit more errant maybe, but he's picked up a few extra miles per hour on that ball, and it is doing damage. 31 on that spare, his fifth spare of the match. Sorry, fifth spare of the fourth. 83. He's looking to go. Whoa, oh, another one this time. Seven on that fill. 90. Is he at 90 through? 100 through 8. 100 through 8. Yep. That's right. I lost track of that one. Kept track of the spares, didn't keep track of the pins. Eight in that one, so 108 through nine. Yeah, eight spares eight spares and two strikes on the day through the first four. Let that one loose. Like he was up the line before he uh, his legs were there before his right arm was ready to throw. Same again. <clears throat> Good out. Yep, that was a the tenth, a one fifteen. Sorry, I didn't get that track of that one very well at the end. A 115.88, that is a 27 pin victory in the fourth. And that puts George now up 12 pins in the match. He leads five to three. In total points, they tied in game one. Dave Peterson now. 5 through 4. Scores a 106, 104, 107, and then a tough 88. In which he hit eight head pins, if I was counting right correctly. Finds a head pin again and has a half Worcester remaining. Find this one firm. Nope. Open in the first. That is a tough one. I don't, I don't have numbers. I don't have uh, conversion rates on half Worcesters. They come few and far between. But often, unless you hit them, unless you hit them full, like too full, really, <laughs> you'll see what what you saw just there from Dave Peterson, where the pin flips off one way, and the ball goes the other. Sometimes you hit it real thin; it'll take the go off the wall and. Clear out the sleeper. Peterson back on the head pin again and too full. That's the one he needed on the half Worcester, but we are looking at 10 head pins in a row with splits. So, well, or, uh, we're not going to call the half Worcester a split, but it's not a makeable spare. <laughs> the game can be cruel. Peterson open now. Has to hold it together. Seventeen through two. Every bowler knows the feeling. There's plenty of times you can't hit anything, and you're in a slump. But other times, when you're hitting everything and nothing is marking for you. And then all of a sudden, your, for, your fortunes change. I'm a, my only correction would be there was one time when Dave had a look at a at a nine drop. It was a makeable spare. 
Here he has it again. In the fourth string of pocket. We're in the fifth. And Peterson puts it away. That, that will change his frame of mind. 27 in the ball. Through three. And in the bonus, back on the head pin again. How about that? Four in a row. And he finally gets his, gets his come up. It's yeah, bad usage there. 35, though, through three. That's his reward, is what I meant to say. Baby split. Nope. the wood bridge, but the bridge didn't reach the uh, nudges. 45 through 4. Peterson looking for his Nope. Stop myself from saying it. I know there's no such thing as a jinx, but I was, I was looking for his fifth head pin. Leaves, leaves the head pin in the Kaliri. It's makeable, though. Only if you hit it. Cleary's fall about 20% of the time for pro bowlers without wood. And that'll be a 9. 54. Nice half. On his object till the end. Peterson throwing 29 through to 31 miles an hour. So Zumbanis. Begins straight five with a 12 pin lead. And a f in the match, a five to three lead in the game. In the, in the, in the uh, 14 points at stake. Okay. Thin, thin blow on the head pin that time. Grabs four out of the left side. Hay bale plus one. That's how you, that's where you'd want it. Nine to start things off here in the final string. Zimbabwe's with a 417, 405 lead through four. They, two bowlers tied game one. Simonis won game two by one. Peterson took the second game by 16, and Simonis won the third by won the fourth by 27. Okay. Nice blow on the one three, but a head pin shot off. Did did no harm. Bounced into the left wall. Left the bundle of five. And some bonus will be open in the second now. Tough eight, 17. Let's see. Frank Holbrook and uh, Dean Sullivan bowling over in the pro, pro series over on our left. Talk to, talk to Craig on Tuesday nights when I'm old here about whether he, even the best pros aim for the uh, middle of the head pin and say it's was almost always. You're, even, even the best don't have the kind of accuracy to aim for a side of the pin. They have to they take aim right at the middle. So Bono's here now has a good looking spare opportunity in the third. Oh! 
Got it to collapse on top of the triangle in the corner. And George is going to clear out that broken piece. It still stands, but it uh, is no longer a regulation pin. 27 now, plus a ball in the third. Both bowlers with one mark, one, one spare. <laughs> I don't think it was my 23 mile In the first half, Sabanis though has two more boxes to try to bet, best that. <clears throat> he had eight. I believe that he has nine spares and two strikes on the day. Through 43 boxes. Simbanis now in the bonus. Not bad. Six for 33. Horseman with a guide here. Sometimes that guide will... If you hit that inside pin, whether it's the uh, two or the three, the pin up against the back of the head pin will clear. Sabanis with a nine, 42 through four. All right, Peterson with 12 pin. Lead, but Sabanis with the box coming up ahead. Total score is tied. Same lead as before, this time without the guide. Back on the same spot, and he's open. You get different bounces when there's a pin behind it. Behind it. That'll be a nine. <laughs> but George Sabanis has the lead now. On the total, Peterson leads by three in the game, Sambanis by nine on the match. We'll try to keep track of both of those. We're down to the last five boxes. ACST, Class C. Pins, pins. Talking about pins, yep. That's, that's what everybody says. Everybody has to say that to themselves. Pins, pins. You have to say it to your teammates so they don't give up. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Peterson, 54 in the first half. He's on lane 13 now. Mm. Tests out the approach. Ready to go. Okay, Peterson. Decent mix, missed the head pin, 30 miles an hour on that. Still has five standing. Aaron shot there. Aaron shot there. That's a good one. Nice ball for no action, but it's 62 through six. That's a good one. Nice ball. No action, but it's 62 through six. That's a good one. Nice ball. No action, but it's another one. That time he broke up a split. Peterson had seven splits and a nine drop in the in the fourth string when he threw it in '88. Uh, eight head pins, but you got to get your got to get your object on the second when those spares start coming. The spare leaves.
Pair of eights to start the second half. He's now even with his box. 70 after seven. There it is. Oh, it's getting better. Oh, that. It was getting better. Now he's got a. He's got Home Depot though to fight through. The lumber section. Three pieces in front of the seven and the eight. Gotta figure something. There's gonna be a lot of things bouncing around back there. And nothing goes right. That's a that's a tough blow. He wasn't sure about this piece though. I don't know if you if, if that piece would have taken it without hitting the cap. 79 through 8. A couple of nice spare opportunities. Uh, missed. Peterson ha had one in the first half. After being open in the fourth. Oh boy! Another fine shot. This time the wood's hanging around with a good angle. It hasn't stopped yet, but looks like it's about four or five inches off that five. This is the Heinz 57. We'll play the wood. Caps it, it takes it. How about that? Huge spare for Peterson in the ninth. He's got one more to play, he's it. 89 and a ball. Three for four on the head pins here on the back. Peterson wipes his hand. His final shot, another head pin. Another split, but a good, Good leave. Seven for 96 through nine. Five, seven, and ten. One Paul Grant calls the Seuss. He did it! He hit it just right! He clipped the five to the ten. He got the wood, but the wood turned away from the seven and he will be open still gonna force Simbanis to to mark here a pretty looking 10 a 106 that was a fine shot wow. All right, what's going on here <laughs> We'll put that 50. Set it up so the lead is lead is 43. So a 44 half to win the total, and that's worth four. But Simbanis needs a uh, 50 a 56 to win the game. You'd be looking for a 11-3 uh, victory in that case. Crosses over. Leaves a 6-7. Brutal. Wood pointed away from the 7, but he's going to try to send it. No, not there. Sabana's so open in the 6th. How about that? <laughs> Interesting. A six, a nine for 60. Game lead is 46. There's four boxes to get them, to get that. Match leads at 34. Crosses over a little full. This, it's his turn for a, a split. 
right side of the eagle and the four pin. Oh! Plays it thin. Put it on the inside. Open in the seventh. It's a big pin. Sixty nine through seven. Right? Sixty nine through seven, right? So bonus is off. Three pin. One, two, and nine. He's on the money, but boy, that's a uh, that one's kind of like the kind of like the half worcester. You have to hit it yeah. to get the ball to carry through somehow. Yep. Another eight for seventy-eight. Now watch. Watch the uh, total. He's got. He needs 16 to tie 17 to win the total. That's worth four points, and he would need 28 in these next two boxes to to catch Peterson in the game. All right, that'll help. That'll help with the total. Not so much with the game. One, eight, nine, uh, one, eight, ten, sorry. Two pieces of wood may split. If he hits this, nope. If he hit the, hit the head pin, the two pieces might have gone their separate ways into the remaining pins. That's a tough seven. Now the, now the total is in play. I don't know what's the score here. It's 85. It's the lead. I have nine to tie, ten to win for the total. For the total, it's all down to this. He needs a double strike for the game. Okay. Took the triangle in the corner. He's got seven, seven pins with these next two balls. How about that one? Eight. Okay. Okay. Wow. Matches down to the final ball. <laughs> one to tie. Two to win. And the match goes to Savannah. <laughs> That is clutch ball. A 95. Oh, clutch ball. So, three games down to the last ball like that, if not four. Wow. <laughs> the 95, a one pin victory. 512 to 511 for Symphonis. Charge. Charge. I really enjoyed it. I, I, I mean, this is, this is, that was really ac <laughs> excellent C bowl. And that, this is what. Uh, you know, we, we put these on, and, and, and it, it's there so that a lot of league bullets can think, hey, if I got a little better, maybe I could do that. That's good, you know? Yeah, that was, that was, it was fun. It was, yeah. it was fun, but hard to uh, uh, beating at the same time. You're not going up there. Yeah, you're going <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, the that was hope, clutch. You can't get any more clutch. It was a big, big was, final blow. The two-pinner in the end to win the match. Uh, the uh, by the way, the, that means that the score goes to nine to five, right? Yeah. Nine to five. Yep. Congratulations, George Simbanis, Dave Peterson, right good sport. Hello and welcome to Union Street Lanes here in Holbrook, Massachusetts. 